Hoffman with you here on this Saturday night. It's the sub-state final game here for the Appleton Parkersburg boys basketball team. And uh, this is a team that has been kind of slowed down here in the playoffs. What are your thoughts on what AP needs to do to kind of get out of that schneid here and uh, hopefully, you know, start dropping, you know, 70, 80, 90 points like Falcon fans are used to? Yeah, I think Coach Thomas alluded to do it, and I was going to allude to do it later, but I'll get to it right now. Yeah. The, the kids of the last couple ball games have, have, in my opinion, have been playing not to lose instead of to win. I think it's easier to be the hunter than it is the hunted. This year we're being the hunted. You know, everybody, well, most kids coming back from a state tournament team, high expectations. It gets to the tournament time, and it's like, boy, you know, you kind of get tight. You don't want to, you don't want to miss a shot. You don't want to force something. You don't want to do something out of character because you don't want to put your team in a position to fail. And last year we played so loose and just went after it. And I have a feeling, just from, uh, I talked to coach after the game a little bit the other night. I know they've been emphasizing in practice, stay loose, just have fun, enjoy the moment. And, and I'm just watching this warm up. We seem a little looser than we have the last couple of games. Uh, and I haven't seen Jessup play since January 3rd, but they've got nothing but better. That's right. Well, so uh, another thing about Jessup, um, and you and I have kind of talked about this throughout the season as well, uh, especially uh, earlier in January. But um, after the after they lost to AP 99 to 60 in Parkersburg back on January 3rd, they were three and four at that point. The very next night, they went to Grundy Center and lost. So they were three and five. Wow. Now they're 18 and five. So I mean, back then, early part of January, you know, it's, you're sitting at a three and five team. The outlook for the team wasn't great at that point, but here they are, a game away from state. Yeah, it says something about Coach Smines and his crew. I know he's been there a while, so has Nick Donnelly, but sometimes you just need to sit kids down and say, what do we want to get out of this season? And uh, they must have defined roles. They must have put changed some things offensively. And, uh, boy, when you go from 3-5 and five to 15 or 18-5, and five, things are happening. Well, let's revisit Coach Aaron Thomas's keys to the game one more time. I think one, we got to rebound the basketball. Uh, make sure they only get one shot, one shot only. We can't lose guys defensively and get them wide open threes. Um, th those will be two big things. And then for us, uh, we got to defend and uh, take care of the basketball. Uh, you know, and, and uh, we do those four, thi four things tonight. I'm gonna feel uh, good about our chances. All right, now let's meet the starting lineup. First of all, for the designated road team here tonight, the Jessup Jayhawks. Wearing number zero is a five foot ten sophomore guard, Jack Miller. Number two is a five foot nine senior guard, Parker McHone. Number 15 is a six foot three senior forward, Carter Even. Number 23 is a six foot five senior forward, Carson Lenau. And number 24 is a five foot ten senior guard, Corbin Fueling. For the Applington of Parkersburg Falcons, wearing number one is a six foot senior guard, Jaden Mackey. Number two is a six foot one sophomore guard, Gavin Thomas. Number three is a six foot one junior guard, Garrett Hempen. Number five is a six foot three senior forward, Kale Ryard. And number 54 is a six foot seven senior forward, Christian Hogstead. Again, Applington of Parkersburg entering this one 21 and two overall. Jessup is 18 and five overall. The Falcons have won 10 straight in the series against the Jayhawks. Looking to make it 11 in a row tonight. And Jessup on the other hand, they are looking for their fourth all time state tournament appearance first since 2016. Applington to Parkersburg was there last year. They're looking to make it back for the second consecutive year and it would be their eighth overall appearance. One final time out here on our pregame coverage from Waterloo East High School. It's the Applington Parkersburg boys basketball team playing in the sub state championship game to go to state. Back after this on KLMJ KQCR.
time for tonight's opening tip-off. It's the Appleton Parkersburg boys basketball team. Sub-state basketball winner goes to Wells Fargo Arena. And standing in the Falcons' way is the Jessup Jayhawks, who they've already beat twice this season. But you can just throw that out the window here in the playoffs. John Moenkel, Brian Boozman with you here on this Saturday night. Let's have a good one tonight, all right? It's going to be awesome. I, uh, I feel like I'm either playing, coaching, or closer to the floor than we are, but I'm ready. Here we go. Christian Hogstead is in the center circle to jump it up, and he'll be jumping it up against Carson Lienow of the Jessup Jayhawks. Both sides are packed here at East High. Ball is in the air. The opening tip-off is controlled by Applington Parkersburg. They move it from right to left as we see it from the corner of the East High School Gymnasium. And here come the Falcons with Garrett Heppen controlling the point. Gets it to Thomas at the elbow, dumps it down behind for Hogstead. Power dribble in the lane, kicks it out to Mackey. Thought about the three, drives to the elbow, pops up a jumper, no good. And a rebound goes to Jessa. Here come the Jayhawks into the front court, looking for the game's first points. Top of the key, it's controlled by McCone as they dish it far side to Lino. 21 points per game, leading the NICL East is Carson Lino. 
whereas Mackey is second in the NICL Central with 20-ish points per game for a comparison there. Top good, of the key, yeah. It's a good idea to have uh, Kale Ryder on Lee now. You don't get uh, Hogstead matched up man-to-man -to, -man to get a foul, and then he can help off. Baseline jumper is airballed short, and here comes Mackey into the front court for Applington Parkersburg. Falcons in their home white jerseys here on the neutral floor. Black numbers, red text. Here comes Hemp to the right elbow. Dishes it out to Mackey as Applington Parkersburg resets. Here's Mackey out in the right wing. Looks at the bucket, looks to throw pass. He throws a no-look pass to Ryard in the lane. Stops the dribble, goes up. Can't get it to go off the rim. Rebound goes to Jessup. Jayhawks in their road orange jerseys with blue numbers and white outlines, blue and white striping down the sides. Here's Lee now guarded by Ryer, top of the key. We're going to have to help. He spins around, right side of the lane, and the hook shot is good, and Jessup takes a 2-0 lead. Here comes Applington Parkersburg, a couple of empty possessions for them so far here in the first 90 seconds of the game. Top of the key, it's Ryer, drives down. Oh, he finds the opening yeah. right side of the lane and lays it in. How about that find? Christian was able to steal his man. Both teams playing man-to-man -man right now. But Christian was able to steal his man. Kale took it right in for the layup. Here comes Jessup into the front court looking to take the lead back. It's 2-2. Two to two. Jessup and Applington Parkersburg. 6.05 to play in the first quarter. It's a block shot and Applington Parkersburg picks up the loose ball. Here comes Hempen sprinting down the floor. Dishes it to Thomas in the right corner. And they'll reset things. He looks at the bucket. Brings it up top of the key. And now here's Ryard at the elbow. Feeds it down inside to Hogstead. Looks to work it. Gets out to Hempen. Applington Parkersburg moving it around. Now here's Mackey in the left wing. Around the perimeter, here comes Hempen. Oh, nice aggressive drive by Garrett Hempen, and he lays it in for two off the window. Falcons on top, 4-2. Tell you what, last year, Garrett Hempen in this, in this game at East Waterloo was the key to victory. That guy was amazing. Denver played his own. He shred him to death. We'll see what he can do tonight. And last year, it was not this atmosphere here in the Substate game. It was, no. what, two, four people per participant? Yeah, limited audience. Jumper at the other end, missed by Jessa. Oh, here comes AP with tempo. Here's Mackey crossing over. Oh, he throws a pass out to Thomas. Now he drives in along the baseline, floats it good up, and it's good. Gavin Thomas rises up and nails it. Yep, we're going to have to keep the pace going. That's, this, is, uh, this pace favors Appland and Parkersburg. Jessup with a lot of size. That's what's going to get them run down here in this game. Top of the key, it's controlled by Jack Miller. He goes to the left, the sophomore into the lane, and a foul is called. And this one goes against Applington Parkersburg. It's a blocking foul against the Falcons. Who did they get? Uh, they aren't indicating on the board. It's going to be Gavin Thomas. That's the first foul of the game for either team. Five minutes to play first quarter. Applington Parkersburg six, Jessup two. Here come the Jayhawks. It's Lee now. Spins top of the key. Dishes it off underneath. Runner is good from the right side. And that's Carter even putting it in for two, and Jessup is back to within two at six to four. Carson Lee now is a tough matchup for anybody. He had 34 uh, on Tuesday night. Here comes Mackey, left elbow, drives to the free throw line and gets it out to Ryard. Had an opening for a sec, spins in the lane, dishes it out to Hempen, spins top of the key, turnaround jumper, no good. It bounced off the rim, and Lee now rises up for the Jessup rebound. Into the front court he comes. Carson Lee now standing at six foot five, a couple inches shorter than Christian Hogstead. No look, pass goes out of bounds. They were trying to feed Carter even down at the left block. It goes through his legs, and Jessup turns it over. Jessup took a pay, is taking a page out of Wapsie Valley's defense from in January. They're really not guarding Kale Ryer. That's why Kale has the ball. I would imagine about two possessions, and Cooper Hoff would be coming in. Here's Thomas, drives to the elbow right side, pass it back, nice ball movement for AP. Outside to Thomas, looks at the bucket, gets it to Mackey, pops up a three, left wing, oh, it rims out. Rebound goes to Ryard, and he can't get the putback, and a foul is called on the rebound. This one on AP. Okay. It's a wide out tonight for the Jessup crowd. And a jer Just jersey out for the AP student oh, yeah. section. We got some Charlotte Hornets, Orlando Magic jerseys over there. We got Sacramento Le Kings. LeBron James's high school jersey. Oh, yeah. Here's <laughs> Cooper Hoff. I assumed it wouldn't be too long. He's at the scores table getting set to check in. Into the front court comes McHone of Jessup as he runs the point, calls out the signals. 3.45 to play in the first quarter. Applington Parkersburg 6, Jessup 4. Top of the key. double. You Dahl is in the game for Jessup. Now they get it down to, oh, that's a shot rejection from Carson Lee now, but a foul is called. Christian Hogstead, the guilty party this time. 
And that's already Applin's and Parkersburg's third foul, the second on Christian here. Three team fouls for AP, zero for Jessup. At the free throw line is Carson Lee now, and he hits the first. What an atmosphere, John. Amen. What an atmosphere this is. And like you said in the pregame, in case folks are just tuning in, this, I mean, it doesn't hardly get any more intense than this, even at state. Just because of the tight, packed atmosphere. We'll talk about that at a timeout. Second free throw is good for Carson Lee now, and here comes Appleton Parkersburg. Tie game at 6-6 with three and a half in the first quarter. Mackey top of the key, hands it off up top there for Thomas, gets it to Cooper Hoff near side, feeds Ryer down to the oh. left post. Inside for Hoff. Didn't quite go up with it. Now it's Mackey at the free throw line. Drives around his defender. Gets aggressive in the lane. And he's fouled on his way to the rack. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, one of the things that Applin and Parkersburg has, I think that Jessup doesn't is, I, I think we're up to something there. If Jaden can continue to drive and get Mr. Lee now in foul trouble, that's going to open up the paint. Jaden Mackey is at the free throw line for Applin to the Parkersburg. Want to welcome in our viewers on the Falcon Activities Network YouTube channel. First free throw good for Mackey. Kelly Alderts is Boy, he's running the things here. He's the architect behind of a lot of impressive, showcasing a lot of impressive talent out here tonight. But we got people from the Dominican Republic, to Texas, to Arizona, all over the state of Iowa, John, watching. Second free throw by Mackey is good. Folks from Georgia, Georgia. folks in Iowa City. Here we go, Jessup into the front court. 8-6, Applington, Parkersburg. 3.09 to play first quarter here in this sub-state championship game. Winner goes to state. Jessup down in the lane. Oh, and a travel, oh, oh three no, in the no. lane. He called a foul on Cooper Hawk. Oh, no. It was Brevin Dahl trying to work it in the post. Four team fouls. I gotta be honest, I didn't see the foul there. It must have been away from the basketball. So here we go. They get it into Dahl, feeds it down low. Lee now Travel. traveled along the baseline. Good defense by Kale. He was holding it overhead, had to do something with it. Instead, his feet just moved before he could get the ball on the ground. And Jessup turns it over. Full court, man. They're going to try to wear Garrett down and not give him. Garrett's really good with the ball. He's better off the ball when he can catch it. There's Jaden. Jackie. Shot it. Yeah, on, I agree. Jayden. He gets a shot back, but he gets rejected. This time it's Jack Miller with a block. And here comes Jessup into the front court. 2.38 to play in the first quarter. Jessup with a chance to tie or take the lead. It's 8-6 AP. Both sides are packed here at Waterloo East. They drive down right side of the lane. It's Dahl working it against Hoff, and they bring it back out. Lob a pass up to Miller, top of the key. Fakes against Thomas, goes left, rises up. In the lane, the floater goes. That guy's a player. Last year as a freshman, he had in the upper 20s against us at Jessup, so we got to be... We have to know where he's at at all times. It's a tie ball game, 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, it's a three missed by Garrett Hempen. Put back for Thomas is missed. He hits the floor hard and will head to the line to shoot two free throws. He had his legs in the air, and he hit the ground back first. <laughs> it's, uh, it didn't sound good either. We, oh. we didn't have a really clear picture from where we're at. But. You know what, though? He pops right back up. He's good oh, to yeah. go. yeah, he's ready. Gavin Thomas, of course, the hero on Tuesday night in the Grundy Center game over in Cedar Falls. First free throw is good. Gavin Thomas up to three points. Now the team lead for AP. Sam Living good in for Jaden. Give him a quick breather and get him back in there with about a minute to go in the quarter. Another free throw coming up for Gavin Thomas. It is no good. Rebound is tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Jessup. It'll stay with AP. Good job by Sam Living good. Didn't give up on it. Brevin Dahl the last to ch touch it for the Jayhawks. And they'll inbound it. AP will. You know, I've, I haven't seen this lineup for AP with Lip. Cooper and <laughs> without Mackey. Here is Sam Living good in the left wing. Yeah, Hogs did on the floor. The five on the floor for AP are Hempen, Ryard, Living good, Hoff, and Thomas. Here's Hempen, top of the key, spins at the free throw line. Crowd wanted to travel, and they do get it. It was a delayed call, but they got the travel call on Garrett Hempen. All right, here we go. Jessup with a basketball, a buck 50 to play in the first quarter. They trail Applington Parkersburg 9 to 8 here at Waterloo East High School. It's fueling top of the key. Now just pops up a jumper. No good, too strong. Rebound goes to Hempen. Here comes Applington Parkersburg with tempo. Hempen into the front court. Out of the right wing, looks to throw a pass and does. He finds Ryard. Out to Thomas. Near side of the floor. Comes off the screen. Top of the key to the free throw line. Looks to pass, and he does get it to Hempen. And a double dribble is called. 
Turnovers on consecutive possessions for Applington, Parkersburg, and Jessup gets it back with a chance to take the lead. I look for us to switch our defense to, uh, we're gonna probably go to some type of a three-quarter court zone press. Here comes Jaden back in. Jessup with the basketball, it's Parker McHone, lobs a pass up to Lee now, hands it off top of, the, top of the key. Miller out to Fueling in the right wing. Oh, he finds an opening, floats it up, but it's too strong. Rebound is on the floor, picked up by AP, it's Ryard. Here come the Falcons, they push the tempo down the floor. Thomas with a catch in the near side. Here on wire, McGraw core, he pops up a three, it rims out, rebound goes to Lee now. 55 seconds to play first quarter. Jayhawks with a basketball, a chance to take the lead. Lee now drives against Ryard, fades back and can't get the shot to fall. A tough look, and a foul is called on Jessup. Foul on Jack Miller. Jessup with their second team foul. 47 seconds to play in the first quarter. And just like you said, here comes Jaden Mackey back into the game. Applington Parkersburg nine, Jessup eight. It's Sam Livingood back and forth to Mackey. He dribbles to the right, crossing over at the elbow, banging bodies, crowd wanted a foul. Cooper Hoff misfires from downtown, and the rebound is controlled by Carter Even. Nice board there for Jessup, 30 seconds first quarter. Here come the Jayhawks, a three for the lead, missed by Fueling, rebound goes to Hoff. Falcons clear out, here comes Cooper into the front court. Crosses over to the left hand, Stops right at the top of the circle here for Applicants and Parkersburg. Here's Mackey, comes off a Ryard screen to the left. Mackey down, left block, layup is no good. Rebound tipped around and it goes to Jessup. Here comes Dahl into the front court, down right side of the lane. Can't get the shot to go, but a foul is called. With 7.7 .7 seconds left in the first quarter. And free throws coming up for Devin Day, or check that, it's a Brevin Dahl. And he will Try to give the Jayhawks a lead here just before the end of the first quarter. 71% free throw shooter. And he misses the first. Another free throw coming up for Brevin Dahl. And it's up and good. He switches it. That's his first point of the game. Seven seconds here, first quarter. Cooper Hoff across the timeline, five seconds. Loses it, but it's picked up by Thomas. Top of the key, gets it to Hempen. One second, pops up a three. Oh, it's no good. It hit the back of the rim, and that brings us to the end of the first quarter. It's Applington Parkersburg nine, Jessup nine. Back for the second after this on KQCR and KLMJ. Campbell Melma Insurance and Real Estate provides the service you expect. With over 50 years of experience, they are available to assist you with all your insurance and real estate needs. Campbell Melma Insurance and Real Estate is your local agent, helping protect what's important to you. From paints to socks, toys to tools, Parkersburg Hardware and Garden Center has it all. Parkersburg Hardware and Garden Center voted the world's best small town hardware. 504 Highway 57, Parkersburg. Open 8 to 6 Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 on Saturdays. Back live inside the Waterloo East High School Gymnasium, John Moenkel and Brian Boozman with you here as we start the second quarter of this sub-state game. And Jessup with the basketball, we're tied up at 9-9. Here we go. Jayhawks with the basketball looking to take the lead here as we start quarter number two. They get it to even, fires it out far side of the floor, and a drive in for Dahl, stops at the right block, tries going through traffic, and a foul is called on AP yet again. That's their sixth. Next team foul for Appleton Parkersburg puts Jessup in the single bonus here early in the second quarter. Am I uh, am I missing something? Does Hogstead have two fouls, or is he? Hogstead last check had two fouls. Okay. Yeah. Okay. First free throws up and in by Brevin D Dahl, and Jessup has a ten to nine lead. Second free throws up, rims out, rebound con controlled by Jaden Mackey along the baseline. Here comes AP looking to take that lead back. Winner goes to the state tournament. Cooper Hoff down to the left corner brings it up top of the key where he hands it off to Hempen. Here's Ryherd at the free throw line. Throws it behind for Mackey. Drives down into traffic. 
AP moving around. Here's Hempen in the lane, and he gets it to go. Right side of the floor from Garrett Hempen rattles it down through, and Appleton Parkersburg takes the lead back. It's going to be a long second quarter if we can't get Mr. Hogstead back in. There's Jack Miller. That's deep. Deep three is oh. missed. Rebound is on the floor, and it's fought for and controlled by Lino. He's too Good. strong on the putback. Here comes Jaden Mackey across the into the front court. Goes between the legs, top of the circle, fires it out to Hempen, Travel. who travels with it. Man, did he pick up the back foot? Just must have went yep, back yep. a little bit. He, uh, I think what Jaden needs to do is uh, he's getting in too deep. I think one dribble and just let it fly. One minute into the second quarter, it's Applington Parkersburg 11, Jessup 10. Jayhawks with a basketball. As here comes Miller, fights his way into the lane, scoops it up and in from the right side. What a shot from Jack Miller. There was a lot of English on that ball. Here comes Appleton Parkersburg looking to take the lead back. They trail 12 to 11. Here at Waterloo East High School. Both student sections on their feet, making noise. Mackey looks at the bucket. Now he goes with the left hand to the elbow, gets it out to Cooper Hoff. Wide open three from the corner. It rattles out. Rebound is secured by Thomas. What a nice board. Mackey from is. downtown. Darn oh, he missed it strong. That's what rebound chase do. down. Just needs to shoot it. They're going to fall. Jessup gets the rebound into the hands of Miller. He goes into the front court. Looking to build upon a 12 to 11 lead are the Jayhawks. Fueling pops up a three right in Mackey's face. He missed it off the rim. Foul and on Lee now. That should be his second. Because he had one on Mackey yeah. on a drive, and there's a second one. So Coach Mines has a decision to make. So one sub he's coming sitting, in for Jessup. He's coming down. He's going to sit down. So the dangerous Carson Lee now heading to the bench. Two, the two big men are on the bench with six minutes left in the half. So Garrett Hempen jogs this one into the front court for AP. Six minutes to play in the first in the second quarter. Here's Thomas in the left side. Guarded there by Fueling. He takes off into the lane, spins around, goes through nice traffic. Move. What a nice shot for Gavin Thomas. What a find. It's gonna, if we're gonna win, John, it's gonna happen on this end right here. We need some stops. Turnaround shot along the baseline is good for Carter even of Jessup. And they take the lead back at 14-13. Five and a half to play in the second quarter. Thomas tries shoveling a pass up to Mackey. Nearly turned it over, but they chase it down. Mackey into the lane, dishes it out. Hempen with a three. No good off the rim and backboard. Rebound controlled by Miller of Jessup. Jayhawks with the lead and the ball. Here comes Miller into the front court. He tosses it up top of the key for Parker McCone, who calls for a screen. It is set on Thomas. McCone finds an opening, takes it down, left side of the floor, no good. What a rebound for Even. It's up in the air and controlled by Jessup. It's chased down by Mahone. That was a flurry right there. Here comes uh, Dahl. Gets his shot rejected by Hoff, but he's able to pick up the loose ball. Out to a wide open Miller three, and it's good. 17-13, Jessup with the lead. Here comes AP, down two possessions. Ryer goes left, switches it up for Hoff. Oh, Mackey thought about a three. Now he uses the dribble. Four and a half till halftime. Here's Mackey, crossover. Now he goes to the left block, no good, too short. Oh, man, and the rebound chased down by Jessup. I sense a timeout coming up from Coach Thomas pretty soon. Here comes Miller, left side of the lane. It's way too strong. Chased down by Mackey. Now the Falcons have some tempo. Mackey takes it to the rack, fouled on his way. And it looks like he will shoot two free throws. Yes, he will. You know, if you go back to the keys to the game from Coach Thomas, one of them was we need to rebound the ball. They had three shots on that possession and it ended up with a three by Jack Miller. And it's, you know, our main rebounder right now is Kale Ryard. So we gotta, we've got to get to hitting the boards. Mackey is at the line, first one, no good. Jaden Mackey with two points tonight. He's got to get himself going on the defensive end, maybe get a steal and a layup. I know he tried there, but he got fouled. He's got to relax. It's going to go in. This one will go in. And here it is. That's no good. good. He goes 0 for 2. 17-13, Jessup with the lead and the ball as we approach the halfway point of the second quarter. It's McCone, top of the key, goes left to the lane, finds an opening, underhand shot, no good, and Ryard secures the rebound. He runs down the floor for AP, looks to throw a pass, and he gets it to New Roth, fresh into the game. 
Gets the pass back, top of the key, dishes it out. Wide open, Mackey three from the corner. Oh, and it rattles out again. Jaden Mackey cannot get a shot to fall. The lid is on the bucket. Jessup running down the floor, looking to extend this four-point lead with three and a half to play in the first half. Crossover here for Miller, top of the creek. Key comes around a screen. Out to Fueling, goes left of the lane, floats it up, and it's no good, too short. Here comes Applington Parkersburg after the Ryard rebound. Thomas. Travel. Yep. Oh, carry oh, the ball. Yeah. Carry it. That's Applington Parkersburg's fifth turnover. Jessup with just yep. one. 321 to play till halftime. You know, Jessup 17, AP 13. It's a heck of a pace up and down, but neither team right now can get. I don't think a team has scored two possessions in a row, which is a tribute to the defense. But yeah. there and now it's a tip pass. AP with a steal. Here comes Thomas. And they'll back things out and reset. Here's Hempen. Right side of the floor. Turnaround shot. Good. Finally. Yep. Got it go. to rattle through. There we go. Garrett Hempen, team leading seven points so far for AP. Back to a two-point game, 17-15 Jessup. 2.50 to play till halftime. Jayhawks with the ball. Down at their offensive end. Fueling down to the left corner. Throws a pass up to Dahl. Drives in center of the lane. Dumps it off. And a shot rejection. And a foul is called on AP. Carter even rose up from the left block. They really have Applin and Parkersburg spread out. I mean, yeah. everybody's around the perimeter. They have one post. They drive into the middle. And if we pick them up, they dump it. If they don't, they take it to the basket. Even is at the free throw line. Spins the ball, flicks the wrist, free throw good. I know our crowd will find this hard to believe, but Coach Thomas isn't agreeing with what the officials are calling. Yeah. No doubt about that. Second free throw is no good. Rebound goes to Thomas. Here comes AP down 18-15. Thomas dribbling it between the legs, bounces it for Ryard in the left corner, dishes it down low, runner is up and good. Kale Shoneman comes into the game and makes it a one-point game with a bucket. Just when you need the bench players to yep. do some work. That was a nice, nice, oh, there's Jack Miller. Miller deep. a deep three, no good off the rim. It's chased down, it's on the floor, picked up by Shoneman. He sprints into the front court, bounces it down low, Neuroff, he is rejected, but a foul is called. Two free throws coming up for Nick Neuroff of AP. Okay. So let's see if Neuroff can knock these down and give AP the lead right back. It's 18-17. First one is up and good. He banks it in. He did. The bank typically isn't open on Saturday night, but it is for Nick Neuroff tonight. Oh, yeah. Down to 2-11 to play in the first half. 18-18. Second free throws up. No good that time. Rebound goes to Jessup. Tied up. Two minutes to go in the half. Here come the Jayhawks down the floor. Two minutes to play. Just like you said. They got to spread out again. McCone down to the elbow. And they'll throw it back up to Miller, top of the key. Holds it low. Now goes to the left elbow. Crowd wanted to travel. Don't get it called. Wide open three is missed too short. Rebound is on the floor. Fight for it. Jump ball called. Applington Parkersburg has the possession arrow off the missed three from Parker McCone. Here's a chance for us to set our offense. Coach is going to call out a play. Been up and down. We haven't had a chance to run our offense, yeah. so here we go. Minute 38 till halftime. 18-18. Double screen. Jay here. Hempen finds the opening left side of the lane and puts it in for two. Garrett Hempen up to nine points to lead the way for the Falcons. Spin and McCone gets it to go off the window. A minute 20 to play till halftime. Here comes AP. Tough shot. New Rock gets it to fall. Falcons have the lead, 22 to 20. Well, it was a heck of a pass up the court. A lot of people didn't realize that, but Garrett threw it up and Nick just took her to the rack. 22-20, AP with the lead. A minute five to play here in the first half. Here comes Miller, a jumper from the elbow is good. These teams are going blow for blow. Yes, they are. Here in the first half. Hempen across the floor. I got a feeling it's going to come down to the last possession when we get to the end. Mackey has it at the top of the circle. Travel. Oh, man. Yeah, he drug his pivot foot. 
Turnover number six for Applington Parkersburg. A lot of unforced turnovers according to our fans out there that are texting me with information. Unforced yes. turnovers. 46 seconds to play first half. 22-22. Jessup with the ball. Let's see how they play this year, if they want to use tempo or if they want to hold for the last shot. I think they're going to use tempo. I think uh, it's going to be hard to slow them. They're not going to slow it down. Oh, that's a McCollum thought about it. Three drives into the lane. They There's find even at the other side, and he floats it up and in. Carter even up to seven points for Jessup. Here comes AP. 23 seconds till half, and it's Thomas. Swing up. Mackey pops up a deep three. No good. Rebound is goes to Shoneman. He tried going for the putback, but couldn't put it in. Here comes Jessup with a two-point lead and the ball on the floor with McCohen, and he picks it up. Down to eight seconds, and they switch it off to Miller. Now they're holding for the last shot. Crossover dribble. Three seconds. Miller to the rack. Right-handed shot is good. And there's the halftime buzzer. It's Jessup, 26. Applinson, Parkersburg, 22. We'll take the timeout back after this on KQCR. Pit Stop Auto Service and Detailing. We're called Pit Stop for a reason. When timeliness and accuracy matters, we're the best auto shop to turn to. Repairs, maintenance, and detailings are the core of our business. Stop on by our location at 108 6th Street, Parkersburg when you need to take a pit stop. Checkered Flag Trailer Sales and Service. High class trailers at an affordable price. Whether for work or for play, we can offer a trailer to fit your budget or lifestyle. Our models and sizes range from a 4x6 cargo trailer to 8x52 cargo haulers with dozens of standard features. If our standard offerings are not what you're looking for, we have several option packages and hundreds of options to choose from. Check your flag trailers, sales, and service are part of Pit Stop Auto Service and Detailing at 108 -6 We can control our body language, which speaks way louder than words do. Let's get started here. Let's go. Let's have a day. There's two things we can control every morning when we wake up. All right, there's two things, don't take any athletic ability, it's attitude and effort. Let's get started here, let's go, let's have a day. Sixty-two, coach. Sixty-two. We're doing this so that the kids can continue to play. Like we used to enjoy playing when I was in high school. I understand how fun it was, and I want that same fun to be had by the kids now. So that's why we need more officials to keep these games going. On. Six, Applington Parkersburg 22. And I tell you what, the big story so far tonight for AP uh, missed uh, missed buckets here for Jaden Mackey. Falcons with unforced errors, and they find themselves down by four at halftime. Yep, I think three keys uh, why Applington only one only has 22 points, and they have 26. One is uh, 
Jessup is getting a lot of second half, second chance points off rebounds. We have a lot of unforced turnovers. I think there's been uh, three travels and a carry uh, that are typically doesn't happen. And then uh, Jaden isn't hitting his shots. Now it's not, it all doesn't rest on his shoulders, but as he goes, we typically go. You know, when he has two points at half and we have 22, uh, that's probably not indicative of where we're normally at. Of course, we spent a quarter and a half with Christian Hogstead on the bench. Uh, that didn't help. So this second half, we're gonna, we'll have Leno back. Hogstead will be back. Well, every, both teams will be at full tilt. So we're going to really see what happens here going down the stretch. Yeah, Applegate and Parkersburg unofficially with six turnovers to Jessup's two turnovers. So a little bit of a disparity uh, from that standpoint. Running through the scoring leaderboard right now, Garrett Hempen leads the way for AP with nine points. Jade Mack, like you said, two points. Gavin Thomas has five. Kale Ryard has two. Nick Neuroth has three. And Kale Shoneman has two. You know, just running through those numbers as well. Um, like you said, hopefully Christian Hogstead uh, is able to come back after the foul trouble, but he's a guy that's going to have to get involved here in the offense too. It was an, it was an emphasis for the Grundy game as well. Yeah, it was. And you know when it, we're just a little out of sync when he's not down on the block because yeah. a lot of things go through him, whether it's passing and then he kicks it out, uh, but he also opens up the lane for Jaden to be able to end for the other guys to be able to drive when you're so cognizant about him have you know catching the ball on the block. So. We're just going to have, we have to move the ball and get, continue to get good shots. It's not that we're not getting good shots, we're just not hitting them. On the other side for Jessup, Jack Miller leads the way with nine points for the Jayhawks. Parker McCone has two, Brevin Dahl has two, Carter Even has two, and Carson Lino has four for Jessup. So there's a big thing with Lino being contained as well. It'll be important. Hopefully the Falcons are able to, you know, force a couple of uh, errors from him and get him into even deeper foul trouble in this one. Yeah, and that's why I said we need to keep driving to the basket and get Hogstead involved so we can get Lee now in foul trouble um, so he can't hurt us on the offensive end. But when he had 34 the other night, has four tonight, uh, we're doing a great job on him. Of course, he didn't play much of this from six minute on in the second quarter. But uh, it's, it's going to come down to the last possession. All right, and uh, again, the winner of this one goes to the state tournament. Want to welcome all of our listeners on 98.9 KQCR, 104.9 KLMJ, all of our uh, video viewers on the Falcon Activities Network YouTube channel. We have uh, we have viewers right now all across the continental United States and North America. So that is just excellent. Big thank you, a big shout out to Kelly Alderts for. Uh, getting this all set up. Kelly just gave me the, uh, these are unofficial statistics. Let's we hear it, yeah. 860 viewers right now. Right now. 860. I'm going to go through some other uh, for our Falcon YouTube channel. When the girls played South Wind, we had 527 people who viewed it after the game. When the boys played Dyke New Hart, or when we played Grundy Center, we had 977 live. 3,100 people went on and watched it later. 3,100 people. Now, when our girls played Denver on uh, Wednesday night, 732 live, 2,400 people went wow. back and watched that video. So this thing is making its noise all over. To have some score updates from other Class 2A substates, uh, at the end of the first quarter, it's Central Lion 22, Cherokee Washington 16. As I get my Twitter pulled up here. We also have an update from Pleasantville as it's Pella Christian leading Des Moines Christian 23 to 14. That's at the half. At the half up in Spencer, it's Rock Valley 31, Esterville Lincoln Central 15. So those are uh, some of the scores uh, around the state of Iowa here in Class 2A. Try to get one more before we go to break. Garner Hayfield Ventura is taking on Roland Story. Let's see if we can get a quick update from that one. At the half, it's Roland Story 30, Garner Hayfield Ventura 27. That one is taking place in Fort Dodge. We got two minutes to go till we get to the second half year. It's Jessup 26, Applington Parkersburg 22. Back after this in one minute on KQCR and KLMJ.
Back live inside the Water Louise High School Gymnasium. John Moenkel, Brian Boozman with you here. Just about ready for the second half of this sub-state final game. It's Jessup 26, Applington Parkersburg 22. Rest of the scores here in Class 2A. It is at the half. Van Meter 25, Red Oak 24. And then also at the half, it's Mid Prairie 38, northeast of Goose Lake 19. So those are all the uh, 2A sub-state games going on throughout the state of Iowa here how, tonight. How do you not get excited well, for a second half of a sub-state game? One of these teams is going home, John. There's going to yeah. be seniors tonight that this is the last time they're putting a uniform on, and there's going to be one group that's going to the state tournament. I'm ready to go. You're ready to go. I know our viewers are ready to go. Let's give it all we got and see what happens. We're standing up on our feet. There's no sitting down here in this oh, gym those tonight. those days are behind us. Sitting down is over. Jessup into the front court. They move it from right to left as we see it from our broadcast location. Jayhawks with a four-point lead and the ball here as we start the third quarter. Up at the top of the key, it's Fueling. Throws it to Lino up top. Back off the bench after uh, getting into some foul trouble, as is Christian Hogstead of Applington Parkersburg. They move it around the perimeter to even, and they fire a pass back to McCone, who pops up a deep three. Missed it too short. Rebound goes to Gavin Thomas, and here come the Falcons with some tempo. Goes between the legs, top of the key, dishes it out for Hempen. Turn around at the elbow, outside, and now rise here's Mackie. Up. Just rise up and take it. Mackey needs to get out of the schneid here. He's just got two points after scoring seven in the last two games against Dyke and Hartford and Grundy Center. Hogstead down low, turn around, has it rejected, but Ryer picks up the loose ball. Here comes Mackey, pops it up from 14 feet, can't get it to fall. Rebound, Ryer just throws it up, and it's no good. Look and he Kale. fights for the rebound somehow. It's on the yes. floor and throws Let it back go, to Kale. Thomas. Here comes Gavin Thomas to the rack. Shot is no good. Ryard fights for the rebound. Okay. Oh, and it goes to Jessup out of bounds. I know one guy on the Falcons that doesn't want to lose, Kale Ryard. You don't play any harder than that. Here comes Jessup with a basketball. Neither team has scored here in the third quarter. Into the front court comes McHone as the Jayhawks look for the big upset here tonight on the neutral floor. Here's Carson Lena with it. Help. Sp spins top of the key. Steps back, can't get it to fall. It's an air ball, and it bounces out of bounds to the AP cheerleaders. Hey, how about our sponsors on the YouTube channel? Campbell Melema, Pit Stop Auto, Parkersburg Hardware, John Luring, Tim Cavalier, and Chad Campbell. Three guys that stepped up to be able to let people watch it. Here's Garrett Happen with a three. Go! Yeah. Garrett Happen. Boom! It's a three point game. Those are dynamite. Garrett Happen into double figures, a team leading 12 points. Here come the Jessup Jayhawks into the front court. 26-25, it's Jessup with the lead and the basketball. They feed it down low for Lee now in the right block. Now he takes off the lane with it, and it's too strong. Fight for the rebound, he, Lee now gets it, and his putback is good. You gotta push it, make him run. Carson Lee now up to six points for the Jayhawks, and here comes Hogstead into the front court. Thomas a three for the lead, no good. That would have tied it, check that. Here comes Jessup into the front court, a three point game. And now it's lost by Even, Bullshit. picked up by Bullshit. Hempen, Bounce loose pass. ball, two on three, bounced down to Mackey, takes oh. it to the rack, underhand shot, no good, couldn't get the lucky roll, but he'll head to the free throw line. Good pass. We just got to keep going in transition. I think that the half court game does not favor Appland and Parkersburg. Up and down the court's going to, we're going to uh, get a pretty good idea about Jaden's second half right here. He's got to get himself going. Jaden Mackey at the free throw line. First one is up, no good. Just 73% at the line this season. I bet in his driveway when he was in fifth grade, shot this, these free throws hundreds and hundreds of times. Yeah. Second one is good. With this exact scenario in mind too, right? Yep. Substate, three seconds. I'm on the line. I got a chance to win. Here we go. Here comes Jessup into the front court. Down low, it's McCone. Thought about a three, and steady passes up top to Lena. Back to McCone up with the Trojan logo here at Waterloo East midcourt. They go left with it. Now they throw up top of the key. Jessup keeping it outside. Here comes a long two. Good by Jack Miller. Good player. Rises up and cashes it in. He's got 11 points. First into double figures for Jessup. Jayhawks 30. Falcons 26. As we approach the five-minute mark of the third quarter. Here's Hawkston in the lane. Turns around. They wave the shot off because he traveled with it. Coach Thomas can't believe it. Jessup 
with a four-point lead, and they have the ball. Again, well, another unforced error for Appleton. Another Parker's unforced there. turnover. Here come the Jayhawks into the front court with Lee now. Guarded up there by Ryard. It's Miller in the lane. Shot way too short, and it's chased Push down it. by Ryard. Push. There they are pushing it. Hempen drives into the front court, down to the block, puts it up. He's fouled on his way to the rack. We're going to have to continue to push. We're going to have to continue to push. I know I mentioned these stats way early. I don't know about our YouTube channel. So Appleton and Parkersburg's 32 and 17 all time against Jessup. We've won 10 straight. Coach Thomas is 22 and five against Jessup since taking over in 2009. First free throw missed by Hempen. This is our third time we played him in the tournament. 1995, we lost by three. 2017, we've lost by two. So we've never beat him in the tournament. We've never beat Jessup in the tournament. Let's hope that doesn't still hold true tonight. Second free throw by Garrett Hempen is good. It's back to a single possession game at 30 to 27. Full court pressure, trying to pick up. There we go. And it's a tip pass. Chased down by Jessup though, as Fueling will sprint into the front court. Going across the floor, he loses it. It's picked up by Hogstead. That's just their third turnover. Here comes Thomas, takes it to the rack. Can't get the shot to fall. Get this it. ball is chased down get by it. AP. There, one Mackie dribble, takes a rise up. Yes. yes, there it is. One Finally. dribble, shoot it. One dribble, shoot it, Jaden. You can do it. It's a one point game at 30 to 29. Here come the Jayhawks looking to build the lead back up. The crowd in here is on their feet. Force him noise. left, force him left. Don't let him go right. They dish it out to the corner to Dahl. Drives around his defender, nearly lost the handle on it. Now he throws there it up. It it's stolen away by Hogshead. Get it forward. Here's Thomas, cross court for Mackey. Falcons down by one. Mackey looks at the bucket, goes to the left, into the elbow, dishes it out to Thomas. Settle it in. Mackey looks at the bucket, top of the circle, drives into the lane, turns around, out to Hempen. Oh, and the pass is stolen. One on one. Here comes Miller, oh. and a foul on Mackey. He was racing down the floor trying to get the rejection, but instead Jack Miller will shoot just a free throws. Oh, a tough break for the Falcons and potential points for the Jayhawks. It was a flurry, it was a flurry. So it's Jack Miller back to the line for Jessup. He's a 69% free throw shooter. A quick, uh, quick moment here for referee to Wipe up some perspiration off the floor with a towel. And here we go. Jack Miller is at the line. Spins the ball. And the free throw is good. Look at the crowd on both sides, John. They're standing in the corners. Standing room only. S-R-O at East. Second free throw is good. Jack Miller goes two for two on that trip. Cooper for Kale. Jessup's going to have to make an adjustment defensively. They can't leave Cooper Hoff in the corner by himself. Coach Mines is trying to instruct them. We're over halfway through the third quarter, 3.38 to play. Jessup 32, Appleton Parkersburg 29, Falcons with the ball. Mackey comes off a Hogstad screen in the lane. And what's the call here? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, they called an illegal screen by Mr. Hogstad. And it, it, they said he was moving. Yeah. Here we go, we're gonna have to put that one behind us and keep rolling. So here comes Jessup on the floor. Let him shoot it. Here's Lena with a three, and it's good. Big man from downtown. He's up to nine points. Here come the Falcons, Hawkstead, top of the circle. Hands it off to Mackey, who slips and does get it away to Hoff. He's down in the left corner, feeds it into Hogstead, and a foul is called on the foul. Jayhawks. So foul on. Let's see who it's on. Well, it wasn't on Lee now. So Hogstead's got three. And it's on Brevin Dahl. He's got one. Third team foul for Jessup. AP here with two in the second half. No shooting foul here. So Hempen to inbound from the baseline. Get it into Mackey down to the left corner. And they reset with Hoff, top of the key. Three minutes to go, third quarter. Hogstead turn around, left block, rattles it in. And a timeout called by Coach Thomas. Okay, there we go. Full timeout, 2.58 to play third quarter. Jessup 35, Appleton, Parkersburg 31. Back after this from Waterloo East High School. Campbell Melema Insurance and Real Estate provides the service you expect. With over 50 years of experience, they are available to assist you with all your insurance and real estate needs. Campbell Melema Insurance and Real Estate is your local agent, helping protect what's important to you. 
From paints to socks, toys to tools, Parkersburg Hardware and Garden Center has it all. Parkersburg Hardware and Garden Center voted the world's best small town hardware. 504 Highway 57, Parkersburg. Open 8 to 6 Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 on Saturdays. And he's got two fouls. In comes Cale Ryard replacing Jaden Mackey. He's going to take his usual one minute break here. Jessup inbounds into the backcourt with Miller. Jessup 35, Athlington Parkersburg 31. Winner goes to the state tournament. It's a three by Miller. Rims out. Rebound goes to Hogstead. Well, it's nice to have him get a rebound. Here we go, Kale. Here comes Ryard. Takes it all the way to the rack. Gets it to go. What a shot by Kale Ryard. He found the opening, rose up, and gotta, put it in. Got to keep the pressure going. Keep the pressure up. Two-point ball game. Here comes Jessup, still with a 35-33 lead. Miller throws a no-look pass to Lena. Help. Down to the right block. Help. Puts the ball on the floor, spins around in the lane. Left-handed hook is air ball. Here comes Gavin Thomas with a rebound. Falcons a chance to tie or take the lead. Out to Hoff, thought about the three. Instead, he gets it to Thomas. Hempen, three for the lead. Yes! <laughs> you betcha, Garrett Hempen. Falcons back on top. 36-35 AP. Here come the Jayhawks. Maybe getting a little bit rattled here. Looking to take the lead back. No good on the go. shot push, by Miller. Push. Here comes Hoff into the front court. Toss it forward to Heppen. Drives to the lane. Yeah! Good. Falcons lead by four. Look for a timeout from Jessup. A minute 39 to play. 38-35 AP. And there is the timeout. It's a 30. We'll keep it right here. Boy, I'll How take, about that coming out of that AP timeout? Well, I wrote the score down. It was 35-31 we went to the timeout. We've outscored them 7-0, uh, but it's all because of our defense, John. Picked up the pace, full court. They're good ball players. They have some suspect ball handlers, so you want to make them go faster than they can. They're relying on Jack Miller so much, nobody else is getting involved. We're helping on Lee now. That's why his shots are short. He, uh, he feel, he's one-on-one -on -one with Ryer. He's got Hogstead looming in the, in the wilderness waiting for him. He doesn't know when he's coming, so we just have to keep the pressure going. Applington Parkersburg 38, Jessup 35, Garrett Hempen up to 18 points for the Falcons. A minute 36 in the third quarter. Jayhawks with the ball out of the timeout. Each team with four timeouts remaining. Here comes Fueling. He throws up an elbow jumper. No good. Rebound goes to Lena, and he puts it back in. Carson Lino into double figures. He's got 11. Falcons push the pace down the floor. Here's Ryard up top of the key. Dishes it over to Hempen. Drives along the baseline behind his back. Gets it to Ryard in the lane. Out to Hoff. Down to the corner left side. He brings it up top of the circle. Nearly gets it taken away. A minute five to play in the third quarter. Down low for Hogstead. Tries going through a double team. Loose ball is chased down by Lino. Jayhawks with a steal, nearly another takeaway. Out to Miller, wide open three, missed off the rim. Rebound goes to Thomas. This pace favors Applin and Parkersburg. Thomas pops up a three. Oh, and he airballed it too strong. Ryard with the save, but it's straight into Lee now. Here come the Jayhawks, looking for the lead again. It's good. Corbin fueling from downtown, puts the Jayhawks back in front at 40 to 38. 30 seconds, just up up by two. Here we go, 30 seconds in the third quarter. Out to Thomas, down to the right corner. 24 seconds. Around the perimeter to get it to Hempen. Travel. Travel with it. That's the second time he's done that yeah, tonight. He's dragging his pivot foot. But I'll tell you what, that guy's got ice water in his veins. Garrett Hempen has come to play tonight. 19 seconds to play third quarter. He's pulling the plow with 18 points. Yeah. 
So the Falcons put in Nick Neuroth and Sam Livengood probably just for the final 19 seconds of the quarter here. Yep, and they're going to try to play. Just All we want to do is get a stop. Those guys don't have to worry about offense right now. Just get a stop. Miller crossing over on his dribble. Oh, they yes. lob it down low. Loose ball picked up by AP. Here's Livengood with seven seconds. Dump it down low for Hoff. Hesitation. Shot rejected. Chased down by Livengood. They save it in. Hoff has it. Throws it up. Oh, and it's too short. And that brings us to the fourth quarter. Jessup 40, Applins and Parkersburg 38. Back after this on KQCR. There's two things we can control every morning when we wake up. All right, there's two things. Don't take any athletic ability. It's attitude and effort. Get started here. Let's go. Let's have a day. Pit Stop Auto Service and Detailing. We're called Pit Stop for a reason. When timeliness and accuracy matters, we're the best auto shop to turn to. Repairs, maintenance, and detailings are the core of our business. Stop on by our location at 108 6th Street, Parkersburg when you need to take a pit stop. 10 seconds. 1,045 people on the YouTube Let's channel. go. Over 1,000. Over a grand, baby. Get a C note. Back live at Waterloo East High School as we get set to start the fourth quarter. It's Jessup, 40. Applington Parkersburg, 38. Winner of this one goes to the state tournament. Applington Parkersburg has been a state contender all year. Jessup. They picked up from a slow start. They were three and five. They're now 18 and five. Winners of 15 in a row. Looking to make it back for just the fourth time in school history for them. AP looking for their second consecutive and eighth overall. Falcons with the ball down by two here as we start the fourth quarter at East High School in Waterloo. They get a temp and pops up a three for the lead. No good off the rim. Rebound goes to Jessup. Both teams with their starters. We're starting the fourth quarter with the starters. Top of the key, it's Miller. Goes to the right, pops up a deep three from the volleyball line, and it's good. Oh, man. 43-38. Miller is going off. He's got 16 points. Falcons down the other way. It's Mackey. Brings it up off a Ryard screen, top of the key. Get it down to the corner to Gavin Thomas. Throws it inside now for Ryard. Throw pass down. Hogstead chases it down. Fouled on his way up. We'll see who it's on here. Lena was in the area. Two shots. See what's on. Tough to tell from this angle. Number four. So that's Dahl, his second. Fourth team foul on Jessup. AP with three. One thing I like about this is we're scoring. Have an opportunity to score with a clock stop. First free throw from Hogstead is missed. Our free throw percentage is very low tonight. Garrett's missed a couple. Jaden's missed four. Christian. So Hogstead at the line. Second one is up, good. There we go, nice shot. Goes one for two, Hogstead with three points now for AP. Here come the Jayhawks, Falcons with some full court pressure. They sprinted down the floor, they, there's, even with a dribble, crowd wanted to travel, and they reset top of the key with Dahl. Circles around, looks to throw pass, and does, finding Miller. Guarded out there by Thomas Jessup, travel. working on a four point lead, and they travel with it. You know, I think one thing you're going to see, they're going to call Jack Miller for a carry at some point in time down the road. He's, he's getting a, quite, a dist, quite a distance between his dribbles. Here we go. Here we go. Seven minutes to play in the game. Jessup, 43. Applington, Parkersburg, 39. Hogshead throws a touch pass to Ryard. They feed it down low to Hogshead, left block. Oh. Into Ryard, he throws a steal. Two on Take two. Here comes a, a Jessup, and they... Get the bucket. It's Brevin Dahl lays it in for two. Jessup leads by six. Falcons with the ball. Six and a half to play in the ball game. Ryer brings it up top of the key. Here's Hempen. Crossover at the top of the circle. Throws it out to Thomas. Hamilton Parkers were keeping it outside the perimeter. Now they work it to the elbow with Hempen. It's Ryer and they give it back to Hempen. Throws up a 16-footer. Rims out. Jessup with a rebound. Falcons got to play some defense here with 6-10 to play. It's gonna, if we're going to win, it's going to happen down here. And they throw a pass to even hesitation. Layup is good. Probably a timeout coming. And now a steal on the inbounds pass. 
Jessup with a chance to go up double digits. Fueling from downtown. It rims out. Rebound goes to Ryer. Thankfully. And there's Coach Thomas's timeout. It's a full timeout with 5.49 to play in the fourth quarter. Let's keep this one right here, though. Jessup, 47. Applington, Parkersburg, 39. How about you enlighten us with the... Well, what do you got here? I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the middle of the third quarter. When we call the timeout, it was 35-31. We go on a 7-0 run. They call a timeout. Go on a 5-0 run. Start the fourth quarter, and you know it was 40 to 38 at the quarter. It's 47 to 39. So Christian scored one free throw. They've hit some threes. We're going to have to change our defense because what we're doing right now is doesn't seem to be working. Uh, they've got us too spread out. We can't leave Jack Miller, and we've got to worry about Lino. They're kind of a two-man operation. So I look for Coach Thomas to either try to deny Jack Miller the ball, or when he gets it, he's going to have to go double to get the ball out of his hands. Look at if if Apple and Parkersburg is going to win, we can't we can't have them score for about a, a minute and a half or two minutes. You had mentioned Jack Miller. He's got 16 points leading the way for Jessup. And offensively, offensively, we're going to have to go into the post. We're going to have to get them in fouls. And or Jaden Mackey's going to have to step up to the plate and lead us down to the, down to the promised land. Mackey still with three points here in tonight's game. They get Hogstead right block, gives it up for Ryard. Out to Mackey. Wide open three. Good. There it is. Finally. There it is. 47-42. Into the pose, kick it out to Jaden, has his feet set, he's ready to go. Here we go. Look for something different to Jack. We're going to double. Miller throws a no look pass out to Even as the Jayhawks reset. Now it's Dahl, spins around at the elbow, lost the handle on it, but it's picked up by a teammate. Runner is short, rebound goes to Ryard. It's airballed. Here comes Mackey spreading down the floor for AP. Can Mackey will the Falcons to a victory? Throws it out to Hempen, down to the corner to Gavin Thomas, and they get it back Rise to Mackey. Up. Another from the same spot, that one rims out. Oh, man, would have been a big shot there. That was huge. Three ball misses, five minutes to play in the game. Jessup, 47, AP, 42. Jayhawks with the basketball. Screen top of the key, draws Mackey off. They haven't scored since the timeout. Here's Miller, nearly lost the handle on it. Now drives to the elbow, and a foul is called on AP. That's the fourth team foul. Let's do a game reset, Gavin Thompson, John. looks like. 47-42, 4-44 in the game. Yes, sir. So, Cale Ryard heads to the bench. Five time on the out. floor. It's a full timeout. We'll keep it here again. 47-42. Jessup leads Appleton Parkersburg here in the Substate game with 4.44 to play in regulation. So, some nice adjustments from that previous timeout for Appleton Parkersburg. Yep, it, yeah, it was, and they haven't scored. That's what I was talking about. Right. If we can keep them scoreless for about a minute and a half or two minutes, boy, just think if Jaden would have hit that three-pointer, it'd be 47-45. Yeah. But it, it isn't. We're going to take it. We're going to take what we have. So I'm looking. I'm just trying to look at the Jessup coach, thinking about what he's thinking. He's we can thinking, see his board from up here. Yeah, my eyes aren't good enough to see it. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, He's thinking it's, it's, it's going to be the Jack and Carson show, and Coach Thomas is going, we've got to get the ball into Christian for a couple reasons. One is it puts pressure on their defense when you have the ball next to the basket. Secondly is it gives them an opportunity to kick it back out. But uh, like I said earlier, if we're going to go, it's going to be Jaden or Christian or Garrett. But don't forget about Gavin Thomas. Grundy Center forgot yeah. about him the other night, and he hit a three with about one, well, five seconds left. Yeah. Timeout is over with each team with three timeouts left. And Jessup inbound on their offensive end. They get it into Miller, who's guarded by Gavin Thomas. Jayhawks with the basketball. Dahl crossover dribble, takes down to the right block. And they bring it back outside the perimeter, fueling with it now. We're really playing good defense right now. That's what we should have been doing about. And now it's on the floor, picked up by Miller. foul coming. And now there is a, there's an offensive foul. That was on, on uh, it's on Gavin Thomas. Wait a sec. Okay. Yep. It's on Gavin. Check that. Apologies. <laughs> so, Jessup will inbound from the baseline yet again, and that is Thomas's third foul of the game. Four team fouls. Oh, five for Appleton, Parkersburg, four for Jessup. 4.26 to go in the game. 
Jessup 47, Appleton Parkersburg 42. Carter even heads to the bench for the Jayhawks. We need two more stops in a row. Get it to Dahl in the right corner. They feed Lee now down to the right block. Looks to do something with it. Working against Hogstead, tipped out on the floor, and they reset. Jessup picks the loose ball up. Now it's on the floor again to go for the jump, jump ball. Jump, they get jump. it. Jessup still has Jessup the possession ball. arrow. It's okay. That can come back to favor us later. You betcha. So Jessup will inbound yet again. The Falcons with some great defense here down since these last couple timeouts. Oh, they yes. lob it in. It's oh, nearly stolen. Oh, 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 but oh. they give it to Jessup. Okay. Hempen was over there to contest it. They say he was the last to touch it. Yep. He, well, the ref was right there. <laughs> yep. Nearly with a steal. Here we go. Jessup to inbound to All get right. it into the backcourt. McHone will bring it across the timeline. 4.07 to play in regulation. Jessup by five. Make it seven. Shot is good for Parker McHone. Run to the left side of the lane. Here come the Falcons down the floor. Hogstead up top of the circle. Hands it off to Hempen. Pops up a three. Right wing. No good. Rebound goes to the Jayhawks. They aren't falling. The open shots are not falling for the Falcons. 49-42. No look past the corner. Dahl from downtown. Corner three is good. Look for a timeout. Oh, a, Coach Thomas is going to have him keep playing. It's a 10-point game. 52-42. Here's Mackey top of the key. Throws it to Hoff. Pops up a three. Good. That was a high arching shot. And there is that timeout from Coach Thomas. 30-second timeout. Finally, Applington Parkersburg gets an open look to fall, and it's a seven-point game. Cooper Hoff, believe it or not, that is his first points of the game. Yep. Unbelievable. Is, yeah, usually, and he hits it, usually comes in and hits his threes early, yeah. but maybe we can have him hit them late. That would be all right. <laughs> 332. Winner of this one goes to the state tournament. Applington Parkersburg with two timeouts left. Jessup with three timeouts left. Jessup 52, Appleton Parkersburg 45. The Falcons did take a momentary lead in the third quarter after they trailed 26 to 22 at the half. And it was 48, four check that 40 to 38, Jessup with the lead at the half. A lot of time or at left. at the end of the third. There's a lot of time left. There's a, there's a trap on Jack Miller. There's and there's steal. Hogstead with a steal. Falcons get the takeaway they need. Here comes Mackey, crossover dribble off a Hogstead screen. Free throw line, jumper is good. There's Shaden Mackey. Up to eight points for the Falcons. Got to hustle back. It's a five-point game, and now it's on the floor. Hoff is fighting for it, call for timeout, and Andy. he got it. Let's go. Cooper Hoff smartly yep. motioning the team with his two hands. I don't know if it's a full or 30. We'll keep it right here either way with 3.06 to play in regulation. Jessup 52, Appleton Parkersburg 47. So out of this timeout, AP's going to have the ball down by five after they were literally just down by 10. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had a Cooper. Well, they're still trying to figure out if it's a 30 or a full. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Cooper Hoff hit the three. Then Mackey hit the pull-up jumper. We got the ball. We're going into Hogstead. We're going to get her cut down to three. Both fan sections are on. There, this place is electric. If you aren't here, you should be. This place oh, is yeah. nuts. Falcons will have the ball. Down by five. 3.06 to play. I Here's told you Hempen. it's going to come down to the last possession. Hempen gets it to Thomas in the left wing. Get, Spins around is. the He's other one. They feed Hogsen. Left block. Left. Turns around. Can't get it oh. to fall. Rebound goes to Jessup. Okay. Falcons you, still. You got a double jack. Left. You got to double him. They get it across the, the half-court stripe. Down low, they get Lee now. Foul on his way to the rack. Jaden Mackey gets called for the foul on AP, his third of the game. And it's Carson Lee now at the line, shooting two for the Jayhawks. And he'll do it right in front of the noisy AP student section. He's shooting 63% to the line this year. First one is good. Jessup has won 15 straight games. Second free throw good as well. Jessup's lead is back up to 54-47. So Hempton picks it up and he'll get it into the front court. 2.43 to play in the game. Lob it up to Hogstead, top of the circle. Out to Hoff, to Hempton once again in the right wing. Puts the dribble on the floor, gets it to Hoff, drives inside out to Mackey. Thought about a three, stumbles with it. 
Still with it is Mackey, and he throws it away. Loose ball is picked up into the front court, and a foul called on Hoff. Jessup got, they tipped the pass, and Hoff had to foul. And it's a one and one now. That was team foul number seven on AP. And Cooper's third. Going with Kale. He's made some big plays tonight. He's played his heart out tonight. So it's a one and one coming up. You got a block out here, guys. Parker McHone at the line for Jessup. First one is up and good. They're, they're making their free throws, and Appleton and Parkersburg has struggled from the line tonight. Another one coming up for McHone. It is up and no good. Rebound secured by Hogstead, reaching out that long arm. Wow. 55-47, here comes Mackey into the front court. Dishes pass out to Thomas. Top of the key comes off a of Hogstead screen. Out to Mackey. Pops up a three left side. No good. Too short. It's chased down by Thomas. He tries to get the three again. No good. But the rebound is tipped back out to Mackey. Way to go from Hogstead. And a foul is called. This one against Jessup. Well, third shot was the charm. We should be under the basket. Yep, under the basket. Two minutes, eight seconds. AP down eight. They lob it into Hogstead. Rises up, gets the catch. Fires the pass to Ryer. Drives along the baseline right. Oh. Loose ball is picked up by Jessup. It was a, they tried to thread the needle back to Christian Hogstead. Here come the Jayhawks, and Hempen tips the ball out of bounds. A minute 56 to play. Jessup 55, Applington Parkersburg 47. And some subs coming in now for AP. We're going offense, defense. We don't want to get Christian or Jaden any fouls, so we're going to... I don't think he's going to start fouling here. Uh, I don't know what the. I got to think through this for a second. Jessup to inbound from the sideline to get it into the backcourt where Thomas. Oh, and they don't call the offensive foul. It's on the floor, picked up by AP. It's living good with it as they do force the takeaway. Here come the Falcons. Hempen finds an opening, puts it up okay. and in for two. Into our pressure. There's Down Garrett Hempen. Six with 140. He's up to 20 points for AP. Here comes back. Jessup. Behind him, yep. We got it's another. on the floor. Loose ball picked steal. up by Hempen. Here we go. AP down six into the front court. Here come the Falcons. Out to Thomas. Puts it on the floor. Stops it underneath. Here's Outside Hempen. Hempen for three. Yes. Boom! It's a three-point game. Let's go. 55-52. There's another steal. It's out of bounds. AP ball. Let's go, man. Falcons have it. This place is bananas on one side. Silent on the other. They're in disbelief. They Are you kidding me, we though? We just up by eight. Are you serious right now? AP to inbound after Jessup turns it over down there. 55-52, Jayhawks with the lead. Here's our new out-of-bounds play. They throw it into Neuroth, out to Mackey. Gets it to Hempen, drives into the lane, stops, gets it out to Thomas, out to Mackey. Baseline drive right, long two-pointer, no good, too short. Rebound is controlled by Jessup and a foul on the Falcons. Is that four? I believe it is four on Mackey, yes. Four on Mackey. So we got to keep him in there because we're, they're on the line. Yep. So. A minute six to play, and Jessup will shoot a one and one Time, here. Timeout, Jessup. Jayhawk timeout. We'll keep it here regardless. A minute six to play in regulation. Jessup, 55. Applington, Parkersburg, 52. It's a full timeout, but we're keeping it here. But the scoring flurry there from Applington Parkersburg, they turn a nine point deficit into a three point deficit here with just over a minute to play. So with 3.32 left in the ball game, there was a timeout. Jessup had 52, Applington Parkersburg 45. So it's been a seven to three run in the last minute and a half. So uh, let's think through this for a minute. Jessup's on the line, correct? Jessup's correct. on the line. So Applington Parkersburg is gonna, we're gonna have to, I think Coach Thomas is setting up a play. We'll run our normal motion offense. It's going to have to go into Hogstead. At this juncture of the game, you still just want twos unless the three is open, but we don't need to force a three right now. You want to make that your last shot. So we're going to go into Hogstead. If he can't do it, he's going to kick it out. If he has the opportunity, he's going to take it up. But Hogstead's not in there right now, Mr. Mullenkel. So we have a perimeter-based operation with Mackey, Hempen, Neuroth, Thomas, and, and Kaylai. So it's Jack Miller at the line for Jessup. He has been the Achilles heel for the Falcons so far tonight. It's a one and one. Spins the ball. Here's the first free throw, it's good. 
Makes it a four-point game. 56-52, Jessup with the lead. All right, another one coming up for Miller, and it's good. Five-point game. Here comes AP, a minute six to play. Jessup 57, Appleton Parkersburg 52. Lob it to Neuroff, get it back to Hempen, drives along the baseline. Out to Thomas, he drives to the right, into the lane, stops, tries forcing it up, and oh, oh, yes! he gets the end one! It just rolled off the rim down through, oh. and the foul called. That's the traditional three-point opportunity You betcha. Here. It's a three-point game and a chance to make it two. So we're going offense, defense. 54, 57, chance to cut it to two. When Jessup takes the ball out of bounds after this free throw, Appleton and Parkersburg is gonna be face guarding their defender. Thomas's free throw is good. It's a two point game, 57, 55. Face guard and a trap. And now oh. Jessup is gonna get it into the front court. Wide open underneath is fueling and they reset okay. back outside. Four, 48 seconds, we're trapping. They get a, try to get a trap in the corner and, oh, a foul on AP. Yep. It's okay, down two. So one and one free throws coming up. One and one. And it'll be Jack Miller yet again. It's probably not the guy we want to foul, but we didn't have an opportunity. We're trying to double him to get rid of the ball, but we, he's not giving it up. Jaden Mackey comes in to replace Sam Livingood. AP getting some shooters on the floor. Five on the floor for AP. Oh, we'll get it after this free throw here. Hoping for a miss from Miller. It's up and good. He's only a sophomore, John. Yeah. He is the man. Five on the floor for AP. Mackey and Neuroth, Thomas, Hempen, and Ryer. Another one coming up for Miller. It's up and good. Makes it a two possession game. Here we go, AP moving it quickly. It's Thomas into the front court. 43 seconds, four oh. point game. Lost the handle on it. It's picked up by Jessup. Fueling down the floor against Ryard. The layup is missed and it's on the floor but picked up by Jessup and AP has to foul with 33 seconds. A missed opportunity for the Falcons. Yep, I think Gavin was trying to pass it and lost it. So this time it's Corbin fueling at the line and it's two free throws regardless. Double bonus time for Jessup. 33.2 seconds and the season is coming down to this. First one's good. Five points, 33 seconds. Appleton and Parkersburg with one timeout left. Coach is going to probably try to save it. Second one is no good. Rebound goes to Thomas. Here, here we go. Hempen into the front court. Possession game. Mackey, baseline drive, pops up along two. No good. The putback is tipped up. Fight for the rebound. It's controlled by Mackey. And did they get no, the foul no, on Jessup? No, no, They called it on Mackey. No. Wait Mac a second. Mackey's shooting. Mackey got fouled by number four from Jessup. So okay. Mackey will be shooting two. All right. They were pointing at him like, because sometimes. Like he got if, called for the foul, right? Well, the official sometimes, one of them typically calls the foul, and the other one determines who, who the shooter is, because sometimes you can get mixed up. It's the seventh Jessup team foul, so one and one here for Mackey. And AP subs are going to come in. Chance to cut it to three. So Neuroth replaces Hoff, and Livingood will replace someone here. It's Mackey at the free throw line, front end of a one and one coming up. 23 and a half seconds, first one is up, good. He's, uh, well what's gonna happen is he's getting a shooter, so Sam's gonna get Jaden if he makes it. All right. Try to cut it to three here. This one is up and good, he hits them both. Face guard. I think Alpine and Parkersburg, you never wanna go to overtime, but tonight would be the best night in America to go to overtime. Oh, yeah. 23 and a half seconds to play in regulation. Jessup 60, Appleton Parkersburg 57. Look for a deep pass. Substate game to go to state. Jessup to inbound, and they do get it in to Miller, and they try to get him trapped in the backcourt. Miller spins around, we and there's the foul on AP. And again, it's gonna be Miller to the free throw line. Yep. He's hit four in a row now. We almost need to double him before he even gets the ball and let it go to somebody else, and then go foul. He hasn't missed for a while. 18.1 seconds, and it's Miller at the line again for Jessup. First one is up, and good. <laughs> 
61-57, Jessup with a lead. Timeout called by the Jayhawks. It's a 30, we'll keep it here with 18.1 seconds to play. Jessup 61, Applington Parkersburg 57. The Jayhawks with another free throw coming up here out of this 30 second timeout. And Applington Parkersburg is gonna have to pull something out of the old bag of tricks here. <laughs> yep, we're gonna have to oh, hope. Man. We're gonna have to hope that Jack misses his free throw. We're gonna have to hit, we're gonna just have to score in the floor here. Well, one thing we can hope is drive to the basket, get fouled, score, score with a clock, stop, and then face guard and try to get a steal. But when that clock's running, isn't to our advantage right yeah. now. We have that clock stop. Another one coming up, another free throw that is for Jack Miller coming up. Coach is talking to him right now about if we score, we're gonna get a timeout. Yep. So. One more free throw coming up for Jack Miller. He's hit his last five, and this one is no good. There Rebound goes to Hoff. It's a four-point game, 16 seconds. Here's Hempen, top of the circle. Gives oh. it back to Thomas. Loose ball is picked up by AP. Pops up a deep three. No good. Rebound goes to Hoff. Didn't get fouled on the putback, and there's a foul on Hoff. Oh, man. Hoff went back up with it, threw some contact, and there was no foul. No foul. And guess who it is shooting free throws? Jack Miller. Yep. Mark Woodley's coming over again, ready to film the Jessup celebration. 5.9 seconds down by four. Stranger things have happened, but we're gonna need a miracle here. So it's Miller at the line for two for Jessup. First one is up and good. He makes this, it's over. It's a two, still a two-possession game. 5.9 seconds left. Second one is up, and no good. Rebound goes to Hoff. Five seconds, happens. here's Hoff. Got to get into the front court. Pops up a three. Time out. No nope, good. And just with the rebound, they're going to state. The mighty AP Falcons have been knocked off here at Waterloo East High School in the Substate game. Unreal, man. Unreal, unreal. If you'd have told me at 6.57 that this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have believed it. Final score, Jessup 62, Applington Parkersburg 57. We'll take a timeout here on KQCR. <laughs> 